G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of multiplying two trinomial numbers together really, really fast, okay? So, when, when this is actually the uh, third of a video where I've been looking at, um, third video where I've been looking at this sort of thing. We First video we looked at multiplying binomials, then we looked at multiplying binomials and trinomials, now we're going to look at multiplying trinomials with trinomials, and then the next video I'm just going to look at multiplying any types of polynomials together in, in a different sort of method. Okay, so this is looking how to do it First off, uh, we'll look at how to do this. We'll look at just how to do this instantly, I think, and then how to check our answers, and also how we can use this, okay, to consolidate this. So, an example of this might be where what we do is, I'll give you a trinomial expression. This is now where we've got something like 2x squared, and we're gonna add that to 4x and plus two, and we're gonna multiply this by 3x squared plus 2x plus 4, okay? So, let's see, I might even move that a little bit, okay? So, what we'll do is we're going to uh, get the answer to this right now. I'll show you how you can get this really, really quickly, this answer. So, the way you can do this, and, and look, if you haven't done these, if you're just straight away new to these, I recommend you go to the uh, earlier links that I'm going to put up, they've already put up, and I'll put another one up now, where you're looking at doing this with binomials and trinomial, uh, binomial trinomials, okay? Just, it'll make life a whole lot easier. So, anyway, the way that you can do this instantly is as follows, okay? So first off, what we do is we do this 2x by, 2x squared by 3x squared, and we're going to end up with 6x, and squared by squared is going to give us um, to the power of 4. Okay, so we're going to end up with that, and instead of leaving two spaces like we do when we multiply a binomial or trinomial, or, a, or one space when we multiply binomials, we're going to leave three spaces this time, okay? So, I'll put them down here, one, two, three, because this is going to be a big answer, I can tell you. And what we're going to do is we now get this last part, which is two times four, okay, which is positive eight. Okie dokie. So now what we're going to try and do is we're going to, we've got three different expressions here. We've got this one here, another one here, and another one here. So the way we're going to work this out is as follows. First off, we're going to get this first expression, okay? Then I'm going to work out this one, and then I'll show you how to work out this middle expression last, okay? So to get this first expression, the middle expression here, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these guys and these guys, we're going to multiply them, do that rainbow multiplication technique we've used in other videos. Now, because it's going to be x squared by, uh, say, x here, this is going to be an x cubed number, all right? So, we're going to go 2x squared times 2x, which is 4x cubed, and we're going to get 4x times 3x squared, which is going to be 12x cubed. We're going to put these together, so 4 and, so 4, 4 and 12, we get the answer of 16. So I'll put that in there. So plus 16x cubed. Okay. Now to get this next part of our expression, we're going to still do a similar sort of thing, but I'll show you how. What we'll do is we're going to multiply now these guys by these guys. Okay, so we've moved everything across to the right. And we're going to rainbow multiply these guys. Okay, and this is going to give us this third expression here. So, as you might realize, this is going to be an x expression, okay? Not, not x squared, this is going to be x, okay? So we're going to be 4 times 4x, which is 16x. And we're going to add that to 2 times 2x, which is 4x. So, 16x plus 4x is 20x. Okay, positive 20x. Okay, pretty cool, right? You've almost got your answer here. Okay, so let's do this last part now. I'll rub these out. <laughs> now, the way that we do get this middle part, is, this is a really cool part, this bit, is we actually do a really big rainbow multiplication. So right across, this is a really, really, really big rainbow we've got here. And we multiply these and add them together. So this is going to be an x squared now. So we're going to end up with, we multiply these, we get... 8x squared plus 8x squared plus 6x squared. So 8 plus 8 plus 6, we get the answer of 22, 22x squared. Okay, so plus 22x squared. And there's
there's our answer. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? Now, look, as we've been doing on all these other videos, I really recommend what we do is we check our answer now. Okay. So, let's do this. So, if we substitute 1 in, we're going to end up with here. We're going to end up with 2 plus 4 plus 2. Okay, so 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And then 3 plus 2 plus 4, which is 9. 9, 8, uh, 72. And then what we do is we're going to substitute 1 in here, 1 for x here. So, we're going to end up with 6 plus 16. Okay, I don't know why they did that. Plus 22, plus 20, plus 8. Okay. And so we do this. We get 6 plus 16 is 22, plus 22 is 44, plus 20 is 60, uh, 62, uh, 64, sorry, plus 8 is 72. Okay, so that's our answer. And because these guys match, it means our answer is correct. Okay, now as I've done in previous videos, I also like to consolidate this with a with a nice bit of the old, uh, if I can show you, where we substitute 10 into our value, okay? Just because I like to uh, I like to do this. If we would do this, we're going to end up with 242, okay, because this is going to become x squared is 100, so 240 and 2, Ooh. and we're going to be multiplying this by 324 okay now we can use this to get our answer okay so we start with the 8 here 8 over here then we go to this next part we get a 0 carry the 2 over here so 2 goes carried over we get 24 so I put the 4 down and carry the 2 part over here we get 18 so I put the 8 down I carry the 1 over here and we get the 7 okay 78,408 and this is indeed true okay it's pretty cool. All right, what about I give you one more example of this? All right, so I rub all this maths out, and I'll put some more maths up, okay? So, what about we do, and I'll get you to try this one maybe, what about you try this one where we do 2x squared, and we add that to 3x plus 5, and we're going to multiply that by 4x squared, um, plus 5x plus 7 okay let's see how you go with this okay you're gonna get a big answer okay so pause it maybe and, and give it a quick go so let's see how you go on did you get first off we multiply these we get 8x to the 4 okay we leave three blank spaces 1 2 3 and then we multiply these last guys. 5 times 7 is positive 35. Okay, so we do, first off, we get, uh, to get this exp to get this one here, we're going to multiply these guys by these guys and do this rainbow multiplication. Okay, so we're going to go 5x, we're going to go 5x times 2x squared, which is 10x cubed, and that's going to be added to 7x, uh, to 12x cubed, because 3 times 4 is 12. So 10, this is x cubed, 10 plus 12 is 22 x cubed. Okay. Then what we do to get this next part is we're going to leave this part here. I'm going to go to over here. Okay, to do that, what we do is we go, we're going to multiply these guys and these guys together. Multi we're going to do that rainbow multiplication again. So we're going to end up with 7 times 3x, which is 21x, plus 5 times 5x, which is 25x. So 21 plus 25 is 46x. Okay, to get this, this, this middle one, what we're going to do is we're going to do this complete really big rainbow multiplication where we multiply these guys these guys and these guys and we're going to end up with a, it's going to be an, our x squared answer okay so let's do that so 2x squared by 7 is going to be 14x squared 3x by 5x is going to be 15x squared and 5 times 
x squared is going to be 20x squared. So 14 plus 15 is 29 plus 20 is 49. Positive 49x squared. Okay, so that's our answer. We better check it, I think. So let's do this. So uh, 2 plus 3 plus 5 is going to be 10. 4 plus 5 plus 7 is going to be 9, 16. We multiply these guys together, we get 160. Okay, and we'll do this bottom part here. I'll get rid of those. And we'll do this bottom part here. So 8 plus 22 is 30, plus 49 is 79, plus 46 is 125, plus 35 is 160. So we get 160. It's a correct answer. Okay, so again, like I like to do with this, I'm gonna. I'll take it that next silly step where we can do this. We can go 235 times 457, and we're going to get the answer where we get a five here. We carry the three over here to get a nine. We carry the four over here to get a three. Carry the like that's a thirteen, so it's going to become. 53, I'm going to carry the 5 over here to get a 7. This 2 is going to carry it over here to make a 10. So our answer is 107,395. Hey, that's pretty cool, right? Anyway, this next video I'm going to be making is we're going to be having a look at how to multiply any polynomials together. So hopefully you got that really sorted out, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.